Hey, Jay and Eric here for NiftyGamer.com, and we're here looking at uh, Hellgate, uh, Hellgate Global, it's called now. Yeah, Hellgate was uh, originally the pay-to-play game, like, in 2007. Um, pretty much, there's too many bugs. It was, it was, yeah, I played it when it came out before, and it was way buggy. It's not being able to see your party members and stuff like that. Yeah, so there's too many bugs, so basically, the game pretty much flopped. So... Uh, Korean company picked it up and now it's coming back to the US as a free to play game called okay. Hellgate Global. I think Hambitsoft picked it up. Yeah, Hambitsoft. Yeah. So what what class are you even playing in it? I well there's three classes or three main types of classes and two classes in each one. Um I've been playing the Hunter class, specifically the marksman. Yeah, that's, that's like the only class I haven't tried yet. Yeah. It's a, it's basically the run gun classes. The other classes they have is the Templars, which is kind of like the melee DPS slash mm -hmm. tank, and there's Cavalist, which is pretty much the caster class. Yeah, I I like the Summoner. It's the best class in the game, probably, just because if you're lazy, be a Summoner, because you just kind of sit there and watch your minions kill shit. If you go that down the skill tree, because each class has three different skill trees to go down. Um, and you interesting thing is you can go in first person mode with the uh, casters and the uh, hunters, but you mm -hmm. can't do it with your melee class, um, and you never want to do it anyways because you want to know what's behind you at all yeah. times because you'll get ganked. Easily. It's cool option. It's a cool option for that kind of game. It kind of looks cool, but then after you do it for ten seconds, you realize it's a really bad idea because <laughs> you don't know what the hell's going on around you. So yeah, especially later game when you're getting flooded by characters. Yeah. So the, I like the idea of like a first person shooter, but it's an MMO, but it's not really executed at all in this game. <laughs> it's just yeah. kind of added on feature to go in that viewpoint. Um, if you would have to classify this game with another game, the closest one would be uh, consider a hack and slash like a Diablo, but uh, as a 3D. Um, it's basically all about loot. I love my loot. Um, you, ultimately, you want to kill bosses and stuff to try to get better loot and mm. make your character look shiny and cool. I like being shiny. <laughs> And you can also mod your loot and whatnot. There's uh, there's a lot of random shit. Half the stuff in the game you can't even use it, like these cryptexes and uh, oh, those other things. I can't remember what they're called. But cryptexes. Well, I'm saying well, cryptexes for a quest for. Yeah, I know. I'm saying you can't use it yet in the game. Oh, okay. So it's you'll have a lot of stuff in your bank that you're not sure if you save or not because it's for future stuff. It's not even out in America yet. It's out in Korea. Um, the moddings includes you can actually add specific items, little pieces of mods that you find um, lying around as your loot. Um, you can also upgrade it, and there's always a chance to increase the actual item itself as like a like D&D style plus one. <laughs> yeah. You actually have the uh, was it four different types of mods, or maybe there's more. There's like the ammo clip add-on. There's fuel, the ammo, relic. relic um, there's a couple more I can't think of. Yeah. So what do you like about the game? Uh, I like loot. I really, really like loot. And it's good. You, you kill a few monsters and, you, you know, you just, like, shit all over the place. And the thing I like about it most is there's bosses, like, everywhere. It's not just, like, there's, one, you know, kind of like WoW where it's, like, there's a raid boss that you fight, you know, once a week. And you get shiny loot. Then it's, like, bosses will spawn right in the freaking dungeon you know, mini bosses, and sometimes, like, they'll be like, you know, a guy comes from, you know, spawns from hell, and he'll come out, and then you kill him, like, three more come in his place. Like, okay. You just got, like, a mountain of loot sitting there. So, that's always fun. Yeah, that's really the main point of the game, is trying to get the cool loot, like I said. Um, I kind of agree with you on that, that the thing is, like, you keep, you keep on wanting to look for those bosses just to see what kind of loot, because it's, you get random one, there's some unique items that's always going to really have the same stats, but a lot of chances you're going to get just random good items. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem that I saw was because, don't ask me why, but it seemed like when they were trying to uh, bring it back to the U.S., they have a lot of translation issues. I don't know if they just... Now, this I don't get. The game started in America. They brought it to Korea. It's like, okay. They translated to Korean or whatever. Then they brought it back to the U.S. They're retranslating it instead of you know just having the original files because i'm i mean of course if they're a new content they'd have to retranslate it but the original skill trees and stuff 
like half the skills and skill tree it's like new translation so you're leveling up and you, there's no option in the game to uh redo your skills unless you actually pay money for it so if you mess up you know you're screwed and half the skills you just kind of take a gamble on unless you actually go onto the web and do some research and see what the skills do because they won't describe in detail what they actually do yeah it was really kind of hard seeing exactly what does what there's not really a whole lot of information out there on the web right now i have the time people say stuff and it'd be wrong <laughs> yeah and it's just like i know a lot of the airstrikes they say well it increases damage but when you upgrade it doesn't say that it keeps on increasing damage mm -hmm. but it actually does so that that's my complaint too and it's even to an extreme where you're linking items in chat and it's like filtering out half of the items too in translation. Yeah, the filter, the filter system is just nuts. Like, I, I know some of them most have it where it's like, it's not too bad, where it's like, okay, it filters chat. Usually nowadays they have the option to turn it off, but they don't. But it filters their own items, and some items just have the right words <laughs> in the title, you know, title of the item where all you see is asterisks against, the, you know, the whole item. It, it's, it's craziness. Okay, well, let's look into how they make their money because, you know, everybody's got to get paid somehow. Mm -hmm. um, you can play Act 1 and 2 for free. Um, if you do want to play Act 3 and on, you do have to pay $4, and um, you have to buy it in $5 increments, so it's actually $5, and you get some other item. Their other premium items include things like boosts, um, enhancing the experience of your each kill, um, it also consists of everything from actually increasing skill points to up to 10, which is kind of my complaint there in that. Um, the gripe that I have is in order to respec, you have to uh, basically pay for that too, and it's like, what, 10 to $15 uh, yeah. respec, depending on what you're looking at. So it, with the problems with the translation, it really kind of gets frustrating in that end because... You, you find out that the skill actually sucks and then you have to yes. either make a new character. One of my problems with the game is they, they couldn't be bothered to translate the whole thing, but they're perfectly fine with implementing the whole uh, system for you to you know purchase stuff you know for real money through the game before, yeah. Yeah, while it's in beta still. <laughs> yeah, it's in beta still and they give us money. Yeah, <laughs> It's kind of the first time I've seen that, but whatever floats their boat, I guess. So ultimately, Jay, did you kept and install it or did you uninstall it? Uh, it's a fairly solid game. I'm a loot whore, so I kept it installed. And even though it's a, what, a four plus year old game, I kept it installed too, just because it's something nice to play randomly. I did fork over the four dollars, and you, it, it is you get your money's worth if you're playing for. Yeah, it, it, it's a pretty addicting game. It's uh, yeah, it's, and the, and salt like I mentioned, it's all loot and bosses. It fairly satisfying, you know, to keep grinding and playing it. Uh, thanks for joining us. This is our, our review. This is Jay and Eric for NiftyGamer.com, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, shuttlecock. <laughs> shuttlecock. F***, what an awesome word. I wish I, I, I sold the shuttlecock, whatever the f*** it is. <laughs>